What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Yeehaw Network. And today, I'm going to tell you how I almost sunk this bad boy right here. Had her about, I mean, it was up and over the bed here. So what happened was, we went to the Diesel 115 truck meet last night. We went to the truck meet. After the truck meet, we went, we went to Wings, and there was this, like, pond that was by the parking lot, and I parked and backed up to it. And there was like gravel going down into it, into the pond. And then we, I parked. I made sure it was in gear. It had to have been in gear. But we went inside, ordered our food and everything. And we went with Whistle and Diesel and Logan. I'll put all their links in the description of who was there and whatnot. I was there. And then Logan goes outside for something. And then he comes back in. And he's like, dude, your truck is in the swamp. And I was like, no, it's not. And then he showed me a picture. I was like, oh, are you serious? It almost sunk. I mean, look at this. We brought some of the swamp with us. I mean, that's not even nothing. I, I drove it home. I mean, it was, the water was up here like it was sitting like that. Like the front end was up in the air and the bed was just in. It just dropped off. And I think the bumper was hitting the bottom. I mean, it was just standing on the bumper pretty much. And the front tires were just up on the gravel. The truck just rolled into the thing. All right, it just rolled right into the thing. I don't know how it did, it being in gear, I don't know how. This side, it was probably up to here. The passenger side wasn't bad. It was just leaning back far and tilted a little bit. But over here, over here we've got some stuff up in here. This is nothing. I'll show you a video when I'm done here showing you all. I mean, it's up there on the fuel tank and all up in there. The, the stack came apart, but you can still see on the frame where it was. I mean, it's dried up a tiny bit, but I'll show you a video right now of what it looked like when we pulled her out. And this side over here, there was maybe a foot of water, so I had to come in over here, get in the passenger side, and look at all this stuff. We got all this cattail stuff, that swamp stuff in here, all over the place. I mean, these rags were inside the cab. That's how much water was in the cab. We had tons of water in the cab. My hat got all wet. Everything in here got wet. The front tires were barely out, barely out of the water, but that's, that thing just sunk right down in. The bed was just about underwater, or it was underwater about that much. The toolbox was floating and just floated up and out of the side of it. We pulled her out. I'll show you a video of it getting pulled out right now. was just in the pond floating and I got out of the truck and just jumped in there because I was like waist deep where the toolbox was because I was not letting that darn thing sink and I'll come over here this way and I'll show you. Here we got our toolbox. I mean I haven't even opened this yet. It, it's floatable though. It's floatable but we open her up and holy cow there's some water in here. Uh, let's try to dump all this out. got some water inside the toolbox here oh my gosh not my air fresheners I wonder if this stuff is still good should be good there's water all up in there we'll let that drain out holy cow this one here got wet too all my sockets Let's see if we can dump all this out without losing any sockets oh there goes some right there we're just gonna have to lose all this Yeah, there goes all that. Let's see about the top one. 
Are you serious? The top one got wet too. So we have to like poke a hole in these because they got water in them. Set that down right there. See if it's about the top one here. Top one's dry. Top one is dry. What else do we have in here? Antifreeze, oil, brake fluid, a jack, got some diff fluid, some uh, rain -X water repellent, hose, some more jank, a leveling kit, a horseshoe, a DQ tent number, some tire shine. I'd be up to my almost, I'd be up to my over my knees if I was standing in the truck if it was in the pond right now. It was pretty deep. But the water was up to about right here on the driver's side. I've got water in the door panel. Quite a bit of water in the cab on this side because it was leaning to this side. But back here, got all this crap wet. I mean, I got the papers all wet. All them stupid papers. I mean, what the heck? My amp is under here. I don't know if it'll work or not, but... I haven't really tried it. We'll probably get her to work. But let's see if the water's... Oh, this carpet's wet back here. Oh, yeah. It's, it, was, it was pretty deep. If you want to see some more truck sinking and some more stuff to the truck, hit the subscribe button. Also, the like button if you like this video because I almost just lost my entire truck. Also, if you want to be the first person to see the video, hit the bell. Hit the bell. The little ding, ding. Hit the subscribe button and the like button. See y'all next time on the Yeehaw Network.